This afternoon, every conference tournament will be officially underway. Hey, how are you folks? Jason Horowitz. Glad to be with you here on Thursday's edition of Bubble Watch. Just about 72 hours or so from the selection show on CBS, finding out who's going where, who did enough, and which resumes the committee felt weren't to par with the other few in which they were being compared. And Louisville will be very interesting. The Cardinals Wednesday night lost by three to 11 seed Cincinnati, and afterwards Rick Pitino said they were playing for a better seed. They're just not going to get it. Very confident that his team is in the NCAA tournament. We'll have to see how the selection committee compares the Cardinals to other teams that just hang in their hats on really one or two wins because Louisville's pair against Syracuse, though very impressive, all it really has after last year claiming the Big East regular season and tournament title to earn a one seed. Seton Hall also lost last night, so these two resumes now complete. And when you look, strength of schedules aren't comparable, and Seton Hall didn't beat Syracuse twice. But the Pirates did beat Louisville. Also have one more win against an RPI top 50 and zero bad losses. Cardinals can't say that. Jerry Palm currently has Bobby Gonzalez's team in and Rick Pitino's. Remember, though, it's not just about one game. It's about the overall finished product. So with that being said, Jerry Palm believes that seven of the eight teams still playing in the Big East tournament have nothing to worry about. Cincinnati, the outlier there, but a couple of close wins here in New York. We'll see if the Bearcats can pull off another upset, keep hopes alive of earning a bid by winning the Big East tournament, and maybe knock the Mountaineers down a line once the seeding comes out. As for the SEC, Florida just wants to be on a line. Gators missed the last two fields after winning their second straight NCAA title in 07. Florida opens its SEC tournament tonight against Auburn in a game that really can only hurt the team's overall resume if it loses. Florida RPI in the 50s, strength in the schedule in the 30s, but they're 3-8 against the top 50, have a loss at home to South Alabama, who's RPI in the 200s. Auburn RPI, 140, so a loss... Certainly would not look very good. It would also be a fourth consecutive loss. Other SEC bubbles, Ole Miss and Mississippi State, they have buys until tomorrow. Virginia Tech has a buy in the ACC until tomorrow, but Georgia Tech does not. In fact, the end of season swoon, including a loss to the Hokies to end the year at home. The reason why, Yellow Jackets, four wins against the RPI Top 50. Pretty solid computer numbers, but RPI not in the safe zone. They lost five of the last seven to finish below 500 in conference. Tech opens tonight with North Carolina, a team that it swept this season. Can they get a third and then a chance at Maryland? How many bids out of the Pac-10? Tournament began last night with Oregon beating Washington State to advance to take on Cal. Arizona State has Stanford, Washington against Oregon State. If the latter two advance, they'll play each other in tomorrow's semifinals. If the Pac-10 gets just one team, it would be the first time in 32 years. Now, while that conference at best most likely will get two, the Mountain West hoping for four. While BYU and New Mexico are locks and set for good seeds, San Diego State and UNLV trying to solidify NCAA tournament spots. The Aztecs begin with Colorado State. The Rebels, remember playing the tournament as always on their home floor, begin with Utah. Now, Conference USA tournament also gets going. Memphis and UAB, the bubble teams to watch there. Chance to play each other again tomorrow if both get victories today. For all the latest, keep it right here to CBSSports.com and be sure to check Jerry Palm's updated projecting the field each day right here on the website. Also, don't forget after Sunday's selection show on CBS and streaming live on CBSSports.com. Be sure to catch our bracket breakdown right here on CBSSports.com as well. Gary Parrish will join me in studio as we go through the brackets. We'll pick the upsets. We'll take it down the road to the Final Four with who we think will get there. So, enjoy what should be a very intriguing couple of days. I'm Jason Horowitz. Take care, folks.